my favorite part of PSYOP? I would say face-to-face -face engagement, um, you know, like, like really understanding what it means to be a cultural expert, right? It's not just opening a book and reading the book, right? It's actually being integrated into those communities and understanding like how they do their customs and traditions, but really like how you can take that and that is intel for you, not just so that you can maneuver the country correctly, but so that like, you know, you know more about like how that information translates to winning battles. After talking to the recruiter, who was like, "Hey, if you do psyop, you get to jump out of airplanes," and I was like, "So, like, yes, I could. I want to be a badass." <laughs> Did it. Now I'm like, "Okay, there's more to it. Like, it builds upon itself." And so I like that psyop is a lot of moving parts. Open-mindedness is probably a critical factor because you are dealing with different cultures. You're dealing with different personalities amongst the ranks. You know, while there is rank structure in play, never assume that because a person is a PFC that they don't have real world knowledge that's applicable. So that open-mindedness will definitely help you out. Additionally, an interest in other things, like a, a level of curiosity that like is never satisfied, right? Because you're gonna need that sometimes to be able to do things, right? Whether that's being in the PDD and creating products, that's being in the white cell and um, looking at like the PSYOP so what, or if that's even just being on a tactical team. So, but that open-mindedness, because that keeps communication open, but it also keeps you curious. Also, I think what's really cool about PSYOP is you don't have to tell people you're PSYOP, right? They're just like, oh, don't PSYOP me. <laughs> so it's a lot of people always walking around thinking that like, you know, you're trying to get information from them when you're not. But it's, it's, it's really like a high level, high speed type of deal where it's like, you know what you're looking for and you just guide the person towards giving you that but you can see how those things play out like in everyday marketing right like and how like that sometimes can tell you like oh that's how you influence people and persuade and change behavior and as long as you understand that like you don't necessarily have to change their minds you just have to change their behavior you're gonna be good in this uh, MOS. I love the analytics I love being able to read a sit report and go oh I knew exactly what was happening right versus maybe somebody who's like, I don't like reading reports, I don't like writing reports, you know. Um, and I think that, you know, there's that flexibility there where that open-mindedness comes in place. So, and I like the fact that, you know, you're gonna meet people from everywhere with different personalities who are going to enhance you. They're no, like, nobody's there to like break you down. Everybody's gonna enhance what you bring to the table. So that's even better. If I would say anything about Sciaba is super cool, I would say, you're really gonna have to learn, you really get that opportunity to learn how to be a cultural expert beyond yourself, you know? Like the people in your ranks and then the people you serve outside of it. 